CBS 13's Tori Apodaca is live for us now in Yellow County with the tough work for crews spotting new fires through all that smoke, right, Tori? That's right. Cal Fire LNU tells me that it got double the number of calls overnight of people thinking that they smelt fires. Now, as we've been out here today, the wind has been coming and going. Definitely not as smoky as it was earlier today, but still increasing that fire danger. Not good. You shouldn't be out here breathing it. Brenda Janess and her pup Tiva waking up to smoky skies and a PG&E power safety shutoff. It's not fun for sure and, and everybody's a little crabby at home. These high winds and high temps creating high fire danger. But how does Cal Fire spot smoke from a new fire when the sky is already smoky? It uses alert California cameras. The cameras are equipped with infrared technology which can penetrate through the smoke and some to some extent, the human eye may not be able to spot it, but artificial intelligence can. But the camera is looking at different levels of it. It's looking far. It's looking close. Detecting dark or white columns in the sky from new sparks on the ground. The poor air causing school districts to put out air alerts like this, switching PE indoors, creating indoor spaces for students with asthma and keeping room filters on. Um, if you are going to go outside, limit your time outside as much as possible. Dr. Vanessa Walker says that's because the small particles in the smoke can get into your nose and airways, making it harder to breathe. She's ready to go home and take a rest, but no air conditioning. The Cal Fire chief I spoke with today says today is really a day to just take things easy, stay inside, and also to prepare for a wildfire, have your go bag ready, and also an evacuation plan in place. Definitely all good.